these days plenty of people want to avoid telephone entirely quite often e messaging like email sms whatsapp are their preferred choice they think it's more efficient now whether or not you agree with them is not their problem you have to meet on their terms so here are some tips from my experience to make your emails more effective number 1 your subject line is everything if you don't pay attention to the subject your message may never get read so how do you find the right subject simple focus on your strongest hook if your subject makes them curious half the job is done number 2 time the message the best time is when the person is apt to be spending time on the emails otherwise they delete a lot more happily so you have to have an idea when they'll be checking their email messages and you have a better chance of it getting read on the contrary if the email arrives when the person is in the rush and sees it coming in on the telephone they may delete it or they are more likely to delete it and not read it then if you send it at a time when it is at their when it is their allocated time for reading the email number 3 be brief now brevity is not just the soul of eloquence it is the soul of business also the best version of a message is generally 50% shorter than your original draft the and the best emails fit in one screen without having to scroll down because that is what kept or at least you should be able to say what matters within one screen before they scroll down number 4 call to attention now don't send out vague uh, uh, explanatory long messages state clearly what you are requesting don't make the recipient guess state clearly what you are requesting and tell them how to act click here or dial this number or whatever is the action that you think is most suited to your purpose that they must take and number 5 trivial but important run a spell and grammar check before you send out your messages when we receive messages that have errors which should not have been there based on the level of proficiency of the language of the sender that shows shoddiness carelessness so please make sure that there is there are no errors that can be avoided and last but not the least is use voicemail when you leave voicemail that is important you have to use voicemail as a tool to increase the response from the emails rather than the attempt to get people to call you back they may not heed the request to call you back but if you ask them to at least read their message that you have sent out that will probably be heeded so voice mail lets them hear your voice and establishes that you are a real human